2.2f, reduce fractions, reduce with variables. When reducing with variables, we divide, whoops, out the variables that are in common. Just like when we were simplifying a fraction with just numbers, we took out the common factor. With exponents, it may help to expand them. Meaning that if you had something like x cubed, recall that that means that you have x times x times x. Sometimes dealing with them in the expanded form helps us see a little bit easier what reduces. So for example, in our first one here, the first thing I look at is my numbers. When I look at 4 and 10, I see that they have a common factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then I actually start rewriting. So I'm going to put my 2 here. x squared is x times x. And then we have a y and a z. Okay, now I'm going to write what's in the denominator. We have a 5, an x, and a y cubed, which means that we have y times y times y. Now, we're looking for factors they have in common. x and x is a common factor, and y and y is a common factor. Now, basically, I'm just listing what's left over, and I'm going to put it back into an exponential form for those that need it. So we have 2, we have 1x, we have 1z. In the denominator, I have a 5, I have a y squared. When entering this in to um, WAMAP, you would actually enter this in using parentheses. We would have 2xz parenthesis. Use your slash for division. Then use another parenthesis, 5y. We use the caret, which is above your 6 key. So you hit Shift 6 and then hit 2 and your parenthesis. Don't forget to hit preview so that you can make sure that it looks just like what we have written here when you're entering your answers. Let's look at example 2. In example 2, when I look at the numbers, I notice that they have a 9 in common. 27 divided by 9 is 3 and 9 divided by 9 is 1. So again, I'm just going to start writing down what I have. I have a 3. Now, we're going to go and make this a, a little bit simpler, and I'm going to show you how to do this without expanding. What I notice here when I get to my a's is that I have 3 a's on the top, 2 on the bottom. We're taking the difference between those two. 3 minus 2 is 1, and the higher exponent is on top. That means my a is going to be on top. Now let's look at our b's. I have a b squared, and I don't have an exponent for my b, so that means that is 1. So I'm taking 2 minus 1, which is 1, and the higher exponent is on the bottom, so that means my b is going to be on the bottom. And then we have our c's. c over c, well, that's the same exact thing, so we're we just going to say that that is 1. So we're left with 3a over b. And again, when you enter this into WAMAP, you'd want to enter this as 3a, using parentheses, divided by b. 
On this example, if you needed to, you can expand out the variables with the exponents to make it simpler.